Good afternoon, I'm Bert Diddley and welcome to Stanley Television's Match Day Entertainment Programme in with the fans. Walk with me, let me take you to a place where membership is a smiling face and £10 annually. Stanley Television. Today's Mouthwater in double header. No, not Janice's bedroom apparatus, but a fine offering of live rugby league from the world famous Arthur Miller Stadium. I'm here amongst the hundreds of Stanley Loyal fans that have battled the elements to join us today for what is expected to be a fine afternoon's entertainment. Joining at this time is club legend and all-round good egg, Michael Banks. Thanks for joining us, Michael. You're welcome. Uh, what are you hoping to see from today's performance? Yeah, I'm hoping to see, I'm hoping to see a good solid performance from the lads, a good start to the season, so uh, I hope we can carry that on against Gateshead. Uh, in your opinion, as a fantastic previous coach of the clubhouse, what pills of wisdom would you be giving to the team today? I'd be uh, looking at the conditions and be uh, telling them to uh, keep control of possession, deny the uh, gates of the ball and uh, when someone runs at them, smash them. Very well said, Michael. Last week we saw Stanley have at least 75% more possession than their opponents. Do you think possession and territory is a vital statistic today? Definitely, definitely. Uh, possession is going to be a, a big call today. If uh, whoever controls the ball, we're going to win the game, I think. Thanks, Michael. And can we grab a couple of predictions for you? Can we get a score prediction for today, please? Uh, I reckon the score is going to be 42-12 uh, to Stanley. And a prediction for the man of the match? I think the man of the match will be, um, be a tough one today, but I think Josh Roberts might snitch it again. Fantastic. And first try scorer? First try scorer will be... Uh, I'm going to go with a forward for first try scorer. I can't put a name on it, but I reckon a forward. Thank you very much for your time there, Mick. You're welcome. I've been Bert Diddley for STD TV. Do join us next time for another uh, fantastic instalment of In With The Fans. Keep fighting, Stanley. Time of Stanley versus um, Gateshead. I'm joined this time by the ultimate eagle, the try scoring machine, the legend that is Glenn Metcalf. Thanks for joining us, Glenn. It's not a problem, there. It's not a problem. Uh, how would you like to uh, sum up the first half for us? I think uh, Stanley, uh, his defence is walking away with this game, to be honest with you. Uh, sorry, but I think, um, to be honest with you, mate. You know, they're not going to break us down in D. We're going forward well. Let's kick chases up there. You know, bring on the fucking V boys. The W, sorry. Cheers for that whip it. Um, we'd like to, say, we'd like to uh, congratulate Glenn on the man of, man, of, man of match performance for the second team. First game back with a triple knee. Um, I think he's, I got, he's got other media engagements, so I think he's leaving. For a few minutes, <laughs> Go on, Doc, stop. You'll see. Which way are you doing? Have you worked for STD? Which way are you doing? I don't want to see how. I'm not myself at this time. Al Wilson or Sai? Where's Al? Follow me, Chip. Yeah, he's good. He's good for the top. Any words on the first half, lads? Yeah, smash it up. Cracking! Thanks for that insight. Club Stalwart and pretty much spastic, Alan Wilson. Hi, Alan. Have you got a few words for STD? Want to get your thoughts on the first half, please, Alan? Coward. Box members. Here with Dino Duke, Barry Chuckle, Paul Chuckle, and his cousin Keith. Keith, what do you think of the first half? Played well, aren't they? Played well. Coops and playing well. Dropped a few, aren't it? I like this lad, he's honest. <laughs> <laughs> Who else has he not been playing particularly well? <laughs> <laughs> he's been alright. Scott, he hasn't done much, has he? Which Scott? Pascal, he's been working out. He's a lazy fan. He's embarrassing his family, if I'm honest. How's the injury going? Yeah, it's alright, mate. It's alright. I should be back. Are you to see you back soon? Yeah, yeah, I should be back for the next game. Positive news, positive news. And um, joined by Dino Duke. The most effective toilet flusher in town. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Dugan, what are your thoughts on the first half, please? I think we just need to uh, practice catching kickoffs, to be honest. It's been a bit atrocious, so it's something to work on there, coaches. Fantastic point, Dugan. It's, um, it's a known fact that Stanley have had 54% of the possession in the first half. Do you think possession and territory has made a massive difference? Not really. Thank you, Dugan. <laughs> Stanley, television, did you? Yeah, that's clever, that clever, man. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Any thoughts on the first half, please, lads? I thought we were, were all over it, but you know, there's two halves to this game, so we'll see what goes in the half. Question for you, Lee. Is the wife happy that you played earlier? Get some tonight, she loved it. <laughs> <laughs>
Mate, my gift. How far are you for a turn? Month by month. You've been about a month for the last three months. <laughs> Get some fucking iron brew and Aggies down here, we sound. Words of wisdom there from that. <laughs> Let's head up back upstairs for the second half. You join us in a very special moment here. The eagle is about to land in the nest. Crikey. Look at the comb over on that twat. Do it live. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, here with the man of the match today, Wooly. Congratulations on the man of the match performance. How do you think that went? Yeah, it was alright. Managed to get the win. 2 out of 3, so a great start. Oh, what a talker! What kind of talker? <laughs> <laughs> Statistically, Stanley had 56 percent of possession today. Do you think possession made the difference? Uh, <laughs> no, I think the uh, boys dug deep in the start. Uh, great few sets of D. Uh, came back and scored three tries after it, so uh, I think that made the difference. Killed them off early. Well said, well said. A thoroughly uh, enjoyable performance by the team. Uh, one final question. What do Chinese people call uh, best, best players? Uh, what is it? <laughs> 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 uh, China? Correct, I think. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, today's Man of the Match sponsored by Mike Active and a bottle of the finest Stan Brini. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. Best of the season.